the iPonic controller, you can install an outside temperature sensor to get an outside temperature reading from the controller itself. Also, you can get a reading from the cloud. Now with the addition of adding an outside temperature sensor to the iPonic, you could add additional programming features such as the cold dehumidification feature which performs a less aggressive dehumidification process as well as detecting and automatically swapping cooling devices which can save wear and tear on your equipment in addition saving money on energy costs but first let's go ahead and begin by installing the outside temperature sensor the outside temperature sensor needs to be installed on the analog inside temp sensor location what you'll do is you'll wire your sensor in AIN1 and ground note polarity of the sensor wires does not matter now with the outside temperature sensor installed now, you can use cold dehumidification which basically works when the outside temperature falls below the threshold of a predetermined set value. So for instance, right now I want to go ahead and hit OK and then I want to go to stages and I want to go to humidity stages and what I want to do is scroll down to my vent fan and then scroll over to have it override on if cold dehumidity comes into effect. So now that we have it programmed, let's go ahead and allow this controller to initiate and respond to cold dehumidification. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to go to System Setup, Sensor Setup, I'm going to go to Advanced, sen Calibrate Sensors, and I'm going to go where the outside temperature sensor is. So what we're going to do is make this uh, negative value to symbolize a negative temp reading outside. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Save the Changes, and then go home. Because we want to go ahead and trick the controller into going into the dehumidification stage and we're going to make this thirty two and right now as you can see the controller is in the cold dehumidification stage and also the vent fans are in cold dehumidification. The next additional feature is swapping cooling devices in accordance with outside temperature. To do this, you must have one fan output and one AC output, which will be your alternating cooling devices. This operation is primarily used to switch from cooling with vent fans to cooling with AC when exterior temperature is too high. Now the threshold we're going to set is not an absolute threshold, but what it is, it's an offset from the interior temperature. Now to get to this threshold, you would hit either one of the cooling devices, and you'd go to settings, and then you'd go to global temp settings, and as you can see it says outside temp override threshold is 5 degrees. Now 5 degrees is the outside temp override threshold and right now 78 and outside is 10 degrees it's way below the threshold but we're going to go ahead and map that sensor back to where it's supposed to be and in fact I'm going to make it 20 degrees above its normal temperature reading and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and watch this light here as soon as I say the changes it automatically swaps to the AC because as you can see the inside temp is 78.6 and the outside temp is 101 which is beyond the 5 degree threshold but if we were to go ahead and manipulate this one more time
and change this for instance a little colder outside and hit OK watch how the equipment swaps it automatically swaps back to the vent fan again because it's 78 degrees inside the grow room but it's 71 degrees outside so it's more logical to cool with vent fans and save a few dollars in the process and now that you have obtained an understanding of how the outside temperature sensor works let's go ahead and get that outside temperature sensor wired up to the aponic so you can utilize these additional features as soon as possible and that's our outside temperature sensor video Thank you.